limited work in progress. A good practice of uh, agile methodologies is to not have many things going on at the same time. So this is a Kanban board. Let's say that we are starting to work on Sprint 3 and we want to, we have three things that we need to do. We need to change, uh, the users need to be able to change the password. So we need to create a code for this. They need to resend password and they need to import existing image. It is not a good idea to work for 15 minutes in changing passwords and then I'm going to stop working on this and then I'm going to start resending password and importing image. So usually what we're going to do and what is considered a good practice is to limit your work in progress. And your work in progress is exactly this second column, which are things that we have started but not finished. So we're going to start working, for example, uh, on importing an existing image. We are Try, we will try to focus on this, right? We're we're going to do everything that we can on this. And of course, if this doesn't depend just on us, if this depends also on obtaining approval from a client, we can have a list called review and we can move the card to the review list while our, uh, our client is reviewing that page. But only then we are going to start working on other things. So for example, I don't, I'm still waiting for a review from my client here and I don't have anything working on, then I'm going to start working on a second car. So it's a flow. The idea here is, here is a flow from left to right and things get done. And you can, of course, update the, the date. So they reflect the date when they are really completed. And there you have it. So that's the idea, right? So it's a suggestion that you limit this work in progress. You can, uh, if you're working on a team and you want this to be very clear for them, you can even establish a number. So uh, if your team has like 15 cards that they're working on, you can say that you cannot have like more than five cards in the in progress column. Otherwise, it would be unproductive. Or you can use this just as a general idea, as a philosophy of trying to work on, on one thing at a time as most as possible. So that's another principle from Kanban that is applied a lot in agile practices today.